Okay, so college sucked, and you dropped out to do what? I worked at a factory, on a factory floor. In Idaho? Yeah, assembling <laughs> electrical relays for a year. And what did you think of this time? Like, it's we're, not fun. I don't like recommend. It. it really sucked. Really fucking sucked. Uh, I mean, I was waking up before the sun and then going to bed, the sun goes down, and I was drinking a lot because it's like you're just trying to de-stress after that. And it's weird that other people seem to not have that bad a time with it. I would go around and my coworkers would be like, yep, this is life. This is my 10th year on the job. And I'd be like, I just was so dissatisfied with that. I'm like, I don't want to spend my life doing this. But I didn't know any other way. Like, again, homeschooler in Idaho, isolated from normal culture. Like, I did not have a concept of any way to climb through the world. This is just really alien to me. So mm -hmm. I'm like, to my, in my mind, the thing that you do to become successful is you work really hard at a factory floor and maybe they promote you in five years and then you get like a $1 raise. So your parents never introduced you to the concept of having like ambition to become something bigger? No, it's supposed to be housewife. Right. Yeah. But then how are you going to meet a dude when you're just living this normal ass existence? Well, you go briefly to college and find some sweet Christian man doing some basic ass job. So you were in a relationship at this time when you're working in the factory? Uh, yeah, I was. At this point, I wasn't Christian anymore, though. But, oh, yeah. when did you ditch that? And uh, like right before I turned 19. How'd they feel about it? Uh, not gr great. I mean, it sucks. If you genuinely believe your child's going to burn in, f in hell for eternity, yeah. like you, it, that, that is pretty sad from their perspective. It's weird for me because my girl's sister is very religious and her kids go to church every Sunday and my kid doesn't even know what church is yet. And at some point, my kid is going to figure out that I think this whole church thing is goofy as f and that I think that this whole God thing is a joke. Mm -hmm. And uh, I imagine that being kind of weird because kids are not good at keeping secrets. So I can imagine that at some point. It's oh, is like, it a secret to your sister in law that you think church is goofy? I just don't want my kid to like tell her cousins. Why like, not? Oh, like you guys like Jesus and shit. And my dad thinks that shit's dumb as f Like, I just feel like I don't want her to have that conversation with her cousins, but probably at some point. But well, why don't you, why don't you want this? Cause she's like three and a half, but like maybe she's like 12. And it'll yeah. be like confusing for her at three. I just don't want her to be like involved or like arguing with her cousins about religion in general. It just feels like at some point it's going to become kind of obvious to her of like, Oh, my parents are like a hundred percent not into this thing. That's like super important to your cousins. Yeah. And I just imagine that being a little bit of a collision at some point. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what growing up is. It's a series of uncomfortable collisions. And I'm going to have to totally sugarcoat my views on religion to my kid for a substantial amount Why? of time. I'm so negative towards religion that I just don't think it's like, it's just too much for a kid to understand. Why is it too much? Well, imagine telling her that like, hey, there's another religion that's even worse than the one that your cousins are. Why not? Because she's too little to understand. Like, I don't want her I to like- be confused yeah, it's what just, you mean. It's, it's too much. You keep saying too much. I think you got to like stagger what you teach your kid about. Like you just don't want your kid to be like fully armed with all this information at a young age, right? I mean, you could say something like, well, your dad believes this. You could disagree with me. Yeah, for sure I'm going to say that, that but I don't know if I agree with that. Because <laughs> I think if my kid like is into God, that I'm going to be like, yo, you know you're f***ing up, right? <laughs> like, you know that's just bullshit, yeah, right? Like, I'll, I'm not going to just let that go. All right, if you genuinely don't want her to believe things that are different from you, then this does sound like it would cause more conflict. Well, I mean, you got to give them like a base to start from, right? I mean, I ideally the base should be like curiosity. Like, hey, here are the tools that we use to make sense of the world. Hmm. And you're, you, you're, I would like to teach you good tools and you might use those to arrive at different conclusions. What but I just kid, want you to be using the good tools. What if your kid gets into like Holocaust denialism real early? Then you got to coax them out of that, that foxhole, well, right? But okay, okay. I know this sounds insane, but like there are reasons people believe insane things. And if you try and just shame the thing out of them, it's not going to like deeply update them. Definitely don't shame. Yeah. Yeah. So it should be like, okay, so why do you believe in Holocaust denial? Let's in, explore In the that. words of our Lord and Savior, Taylor Swift, shame never made anybody less gay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Which I also disagree with, because I think there's probably a whole shitload of people out there that... They'll behave less gay. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, but then what is gay, truly? Not really, like, the best yeah. way to accomplish that, yeah. She is our Lord and Savior. Um, wait, okay, what were you saying before I did the weird Taylor remember. Swift segue? I also don't really know much about Taylor Swift. Really? Wow, yeah. I'm missing out. 
That's like the tie that binds all white women together right now. Ah, uh, I see. My wife went to Vienna to see the Eras tour because it's not coming back to America. Mm -hmm. And ISIS, they picked up three ISIS combatants who were planning a bombing. And so she did not Wait, get to see. Who's they? Like the government? Oh, well, yeah, the, the Austrian government. Okay. In coordination with the and Secret like, Service, I, I believe. Taylor Swift. I, I believe we supplied the information about these guys. Um, but then th these concerts didn't happen. Wow. So she went all the way to Vienna and ISIS got in the way of her know, seeing I her see. hero. I see. It's like the anti of the white woman. Yeah. I mean, they, ISIS, they just kind of like latch on to like whatever's going on in pop culture, I think. <laughs> you know, they just want to like attach themselves to some viral shit. Yeah, that makes sense. Good PR. But Taylor Swift didn't even issue a statement about it, really, because she didn't want to like... Yeah, it makes sense. You don't want to feed. Even Taylor Swift not is scared shitless of ISIS. But like, I mean, even if it's not fear, it's like you just don't want to like give people more attention to latch onto. If you react in any way to like an insane stalker, I just want to live in a world in which Taylor Swift can say like on stage, "Hey, fuck ISIS." <laughs> that would that be so sick? That would be nice. That would be so <laughs> badass. <laughs> but yeah, she would for sure have a target on her head after that. Yeah.